Keith Morrison, Kelly Lang, Fritz Coleman Weather, Fred Rogan, Sports, Jess Marble, Cover Story, and David Sheehan, Entertainment. Channel 4 News, Night Side, number one at 11. Good evening, top story at the 11th hour, the ill-fated Redondo Beach Pier reeling after an enormous disaster today, a huge fire that roared through the landmark. And our Phil Schumann is live on the pier right now. He's got the latest on the mop-up conditions. It's sad, isn't it, Phil? Well, Kelly, they're now saying that this fire was caused by an electrical short underneath the Breakers restaurant. Millions of dollars in damage, fortunately no injuries, and it seems incredible, but already they're talking about reopening the pier as early as tomorrow. Tonight, it was quiet and peaceful in Redondo Beach, but the sun was setting on perhaps the worst disaster in the city's history, the fiery destruction of at least one-third of the Redondo Beach Pier. And while firefighters continued to pour water onto the smoldering pilings, guarding against another flare-up, determined city management vowed to reopen as much of the undamaged sections of the pier as possible as early as tomorrow. We want to get the word out to the public, uh, particularly with the Memorial Day weekend coming up, that uh, we will be open for business and really a majority of the uh, shops and restaurants will still be open. Earlier in the day, no one was thinking about reopening the pier. Roaring flames made it look like the pier would be a total loss. When the fire broke out at 1.45 and quickly spread, some 1,000 people had to flee. It was black smoke. You couldn't hardly see the flames, really. With firefighters working from the water and the land, it took more than two hours to stop the flames' advance. Firefighters say the chemically treated wooden pier burned like a torch. We had fire lapping from the bottom of the pier up around and igniting the roof, so the fire was all around the structure. We've been asked before, would sprinklers have put this fire out? No. It burnt from the outside in, not from the inside out. And back at the pier tonight, firefighters readied for a long night. And the curious, as always, came out to see the disaster for themselves. You know, it's just one thing after another. So they get rid of one problem and something else happens. Firefighters say that about 150 to 200 feet of the pier is completely gone. Engineers have examined the rest and say that they do believe that the city's plans to open it tomorrow are realistic. Of course, this after a terrible January storm, followed again by another storm in April. Leave the folks here in Redondo Beach wondering what's next. Reporting live, Phil Schumann, Channel 4 News. Keith Kelly. All right, All right a big comeback, Phil. we hope. Yeah, indeed. And 11 fire companies went to Mount Washington this afternoon.